Hello, my name is Brad Grimm from GrowMilkweedPlants.com. Today, I'm recording this video at the biggest little butterfly garden in the world, my peanut planter, which is full of nectar flowers and milkweed plants for the monarch butterflies. It's a registered monarch way station, 8269 with Monarch Watch. We provide habitat for many animals like bees, butterflies, and birds. But today we're following up on a video series that I've been doing, One Gallon Greenhouse. Let's go take a look at the One Gallon Greenhouses. Today is April 20th, 2018, and it's time to get those seeds growing. It is t-shirt weather today, not a cloud in the sky. We're gonna provide a little bit of artificial water to those plants and see if they don't start growing in early May. We're back at the same location where we planted these seeds and I have the watering can and a simple dollar store squirt bottle. So with the squirt bottle, simply gonna add a little bit of supplemental moisture to the containers, about 10 squirts inside of each container. Real gentle squirts. The reason I'm not using the water bottle is because the seeds are right on the surface of the soil. And if you use the water, the water watering can, the watering can is gonna disrupt the seeds and possibly force them to the side of the container and down the edges. And we wanna keep the seeds right where they are evenly spread out inside of these containers. So about 10 squirts later, and we've added some supplemental moisture to the containers. And these one gallon greenhouses are gonna have a little bit of humidity in the sunshine. And as the weather warms up, we're gonna look for growth in these one gallon greenhouses. It's gonna take a few weeks, and I think around early May is the time that we'll expect to see the seedlings put out their root radical, and we'll start to see some growth. Um, right now, I just watered Hall's milkweed and spider milkweed, but I also have everything from aquatic milkweed to zyzotes milkweed, the A to Z of milkweed seeds. This has been a very simple process. They've just been out here all winter without a lot of attention. But in the springtime, if there's no rain in the forecast, it's okay to add a little bit of supplemental moisture to your seeds. That's gonna encourage them to grow. And you'll only wanna do this on warm days where it's t-shirt weather. If it's still snowing in your location, you don't need to take any action with your plants yet. Thanks for watching this video. There's a few other videos in this series if you wanna get ready for next year. This is Brad Graham at growmilkweedplants.com. If it's good for the butterflies, it's good for me.